Now, I'm not going to mention any names because that would be uh, inappropriate. But um, I watched a video from Aaron Clary, Captain Capitalism, asshole consulting, link below, and he was talking about conservative thoughts. What in the hell is a conservative thought there, James? Well, women who are generally kind of attractive telling us a lot of things that we like to hear. <laughs> Oh, isn't that interesting? Oh, so and so is so hot. And she's she's saying things we like. And she's so hot. And she's Are they really saying things any uh any original things? You know who I'm talking about, guys. We're talking about a couple of blondes, at least. Dark haired lady. I can mention Lacey Green because she wasn't part of this video. Lacey Green for how many years? How many years was Lacey Green a radical fucking feminist? Using the same tactics that they all, that they all do. Here's some false statistics if you don't believe me. You're a rape apologist and you're a hater and you're a misogynist. And then suddenly one day, I guess after the hug from Sargon of Akkad in wherever that was. Actually, it was before that. Lacey Green is like... I'm suddenly not like that anymore. No, 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 I'm different. And her and Chris Raygun ran off into the sunset. And uh, interesting, isn't it? You see, this whole game, this this game we're doing here, this YouTube thing, this blog thing, this, uh, you know, streaming video, whatever the hell, you know, uh, audio clips. and uh, It's all about to make money. Or get attention. Or get your perceived point of view out there. You see, you've got these couple of blonde chicks. You got a long-haired, uh, dark-haired chick, pretty hot actually. Now, I don't know anything about that particular person, but they're saying things that resonate with a certain demographic. Do they believe this stuff? Do they? Well, I don't know. You know, um, pretty face. They're telling us things we want to hear. Uh, hmm. What about, uh, what's her name, the, the Nazi, alleged, the alleged Nazi that uh, Kraut, Rage After Storm, very attractive lady, and she said one thing about IQ, boom, off the internet. All she had to do was just look pretty and say, you know what, <laughs> Donald Trump and the white men are being oppressed and, and all this shit, and she would have had 150,000 subscribers and making some bank, some coinage. Because she was saying the things we wanted to hear. Delivered to us by a pretty package. But apparently we don't see this. Uh, well, no, no, no. She's just one of those women. Is she? Is she really? Uh, do you think? What about Amanda Wolfchild? You know, she, she's an attractive lady, but she speaks the truth. She's not relying on her looks to say, well, here's what I think. And here, wait, let me... Let me look it up in the uh, conservative playbook to get more views. She doesn't care. I want to hear the truth. I think it's fantastic that women get out there and say, you know, this is all bullshit. Feminism is bullshit. Socialism is bullshit. They don't have to have a pretty face. They have to have a pretty thought. Something original. The two blondies um, don't. Now you can say, uh, you know, uh, Anna Kasparian, perhaps. Well, she's kind of pretty and whatever. Does she have an original thought? Uh, well, once in a while. Yeah. So I respect her more than some of these mm, thoughts. I want to hear things that disagree with me. You know why? Because it makes me think. It makes me grow. Why do I watch the think tank with Hannah Cranston? Or whatever her name is. <laughs> because she's drunk a lot. She's cute. But she spews such utter fucking nonsense. That can be disputed by a kindergartner who's retarded and on fucking ADD drugs. Who is comatose and shits all over themselves. I mean, everything she says is bullshit. But we need to hear this, don't we? We need to hear the opposing view, no matter how fucking stupid it is. We gotta hear it. And so when a pretty face comes along and says, you know what? I like Donald Trump and, uh, you know, we should get back to the Constitutional Republic and gun rights and all this other bullshit. I happen to believe that. Now, if a guy like me who looks like Mr. 
<laughs> I was going to say average. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Mr. Fugly, come out here and say this. Hey, we believe in all this shit. It's like, yeah, that's fucking noise. We don't care. What about Spinosaurus? What's his name? David something? Came out. He had a bunch of ideas. It seemed, anyway. He came out and he's kind of a good looking kid. You know, young guy. It's like, yeah, this is all bullshit. And whatever. The second that didn't make him any money, suddenly he's an SJW. Imagine that. Have you been to his channel lately? He looks like he's smoking crack and injecting fucking heroin. The guy's a mess. Complete. I, I watch this guy all the time. Now, if you want a solid man, Zers, Bass, FCZ, he's going to tell you the same thing from now until the end of his life, because that's what he believes. But these blondies with the big titties and the fish lips and the other stuff, I have a serious doubt whether they believe in any of this bullshit in reality, or if they're just trying to get a little bit of attention. After all, if these blondies were so conservative, if they were so traditional values, church, God, mother, country, guns, and all this other, why aren't they married? Why aren't they having babies in the prime of their fertile years? You see, here's the thing, you guys, you got to think about this. The blondies and these other ladies, they fully believe to their core in the feminist nonsense, free love, free tampons, free abortions, free all this other cock carousel bullshit. Hey, we've all heard it a million times. They believe that 100%. But they're not bitchy about it. You see, do you see the difference? You've got Big Red out there, Channy Bing. Hey, fuck you. You're a goddamn... And then you got Blondie saying, well, you know, here, I'm, I'm going to South Africa and Italy because I care and I don't want the blah, 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 blah. But in their hearts, they believe the same thing. This is not their fault. They have been indoctrinated for 16, 17, 18, 19, 22 years of their lives indoctrinated with this bullshit. Now you show me a blondie on YouTube and there's plenty of them out there. It tells me abortion is wrong. I did what I thought was best for fucking humanity. I got married, had some children and were very, very happy. Amanda Wolfchild might be one you would consider. These others are out to get attention. And that is all. They do not believe it. And if you believe that they believe it, you're thinking with your little head, boys. James Maxwell, thanks for listening.